you want to install different Python versions under Windows because you work on different Python projects or you just want to check out the latest release candidate of the next Python version. In this video I'm going to show you how to do this using PyEnv together with virtual environments and how to use those two within Visual Studio Code. Welcome, I'm Cons. I got a master's in computer science and currently work as a graduate research assistant and work with Python on a daily basis which makes PyEnv to one of my most important tools. Using and installing different Python versions under Windows is actually pretty easy using PyEnv. PyEnv is a command line tool which allows you to seamlessly switch between different Python versions and also enables you to set dedicated versions for specific folders and projects. Together with virtual environments, PyEnv is one of the most important tools for everyone who uses Python on a regular basis. So without further ado, let's jump into Windows and set up PyEnv, virtual environments and Visual Studio Code. To install PyEnv, we first have to download it from its GitHub page, which is pyenv-win slash pyenv-win. You can find the link for that down below in the description. We go to code and then we're just going to download the zip archive. Then we head over into our downloads folder, we right click on it and click on extract all. And when the extraction has finished, we head into our PowerShell and create a folder for pyenv. And we're going to create a folder .pyenv in our user directory. For that we enter mkdir $home, which points to our user directory, slash .pyenv. This created the .pyenv directory in our user directory. Now we're going to head over into our user directory, which we can find under C, users, our username, and in here we find the .pyenv directory we just created in the PowerShell. Now we go into the pyenv win master directory we just extracted from the zip archive, and we copy over pyenv-win and the .version file into the .pyenv directory just created. With this step, the installation of pyenv is technically done. However, we have to set up the command line in order to recognize the pyenv command. For that, we head over to my website where you can find all the commands you now have to insert into the PowerShell to make pyenv work. You can find a link to my website down below in the description. Now that we have installed pyenv in the .pyenv directory, we have to set two environment variables that point to that directory. We're just going to copy those over here. Those are just variables containing the, the path to my home directory and the .pyenv directory in it. Copy that and insert that into our PowerShell and click on enter. After we have done that, we now have to add pyenv to the path variable such that the pyenv command is visible for the shell we are using and we can use the pyenv command later on. For that, we're going to copy this command over here, which extends the path variable with the pyenv bin folder. We copy that and insert that into the PowerShell as well and click on enter. Now we have to close our current PowerShell and enable the execution of scripts. For that, we need a PowerShell with administrator permissions. For that, we close first this PowerShell, then we go under Windows, type PowerShell, and we right click on it and run at administrator. We allow that we want to run it as administrator and the next thing we have to do is to enter the execution policy. So we're going to enter set execution policy unrestricted. We just copy that as well, enter that here and press enter. And now we want to press A which enables us to run scripts on the whole system and not just certain scripts. So capital A and enter. And now we can close this PowerShell with administrator permissions again and open a normal PowerShell. And in this normal PowerShell we enter pyenv and Windows will respond with a warning because we haven't given pyenv the correct permissions to execute. We can click on run once but we have to do this all the time if we want to run pyenv. To circumvent that we can enter another command which unblocks our file. We're just going to copy that from here. Unblock home.pyenv, pyenv win bin, pyenv ps1. That is the script that is actually called when we enter the pyenv command into the PowerShell. With that entered, pyenv is now unblocked and when we enter pyenv, once again, we don't see a warning. This concludes the installation of pyenv and we can now move on on how to use pyenv. And don't forget to give this video a like. It helps me out a lot. With Pyenv successfully running on our system now, we can start using it. 
And the first command we are going to use is the pyenv install command to list all the versions we can install through pyenv. We enter pyenv install minus l, which lists all available versions of Python we can install with pyenv. And there's a lot of them. But we want to stick to the C Python implementation. And the most recent version we can install for the C Python implementation is 3.9.6. And to install that, we just enter pyenv install 3.9.6. Press on enter and wait until pyenv installs this version of Python. With the installation of this Python version being finished, we can check which versions are actually installed with pyenv. And for that, we're going to enter the command pyenv versions that lists all the versions that are currently installed. And we only installed the version 3.9.6. So this is the only version that has been listed here. Now we want to use this version in this shell. For that, I'm going to use pyenv shell and enter 3.9.6. And this activates this Python version just for this shell session. If we now enter Python minus V, we can see that we now use Python version 3.9.6. And in this directory, I already have a short Python script, which is just a hello world, which prints out the Python version. We can run that as well. We enter py, Python hello py, and we see it says, hello, I'm Python version 3.9.6. Setting the Python version every time we open a new shell is very tedious. So for that, we are going to use pyenv global 3.9.6. And now when we open a new PowerShell and enter Python minus V, we can see that per default, pyenv is now using Python version 3.9.6. However, I would like to check out the latest release candidate of the next Python version 3.10. For that, I'm looking once again into pyenv install minus L. And down here, we can see the latest beta, which is 3.10.0b3. Uh, and we're going to install that as well. pyenv install 3.10.0b3 and press enter and wait until it is installed. I don't want to use this release candidate of Python on my whole system. I just want to use it in my Python test project. And for that, I'm going to use the pyenv local command and enter 3.10.0b3. And this will create a .python version file. When we enter ls to list all the files in here, we see there is the .python minus version file. And that has a string in it that tells pyenv which version we would like to use in this directory. So when we now run our hello python with python hello pi, we can see it doesn't use 3.9.6 anymore, but it uses 3.10.0b3. In this quick overview of the different pyenv commands, we've seen the install command, versions, shell, global, and local. However, there are a lot more commands which you can check out over on the pyenv GitHub repository. Now I want to use a virtual environment in my test project, which allows me to install modules just for this project in a specific directory. For that, we are going to use the Python virtual environments, which we can create with python minus m venv dot venv. And this will create a new directory called dot venv, which will include all the modules we are going to install together with the Python interpreter we have just copied over from pyenv. If we have a quick look at the dot venv directory, ls venv and go into the scripts directory, we, we can see there is an activate shell script we have to run when we want to activate this virtual environment. And we can also see a Python exe and a pip exe, which will be run when we have activated the virtual environment in order to install or run our commands. To activate our virtual environment, we're going to enter dot venv scripts activate and press enter. And then we see this dot venv appearing in front of our prompt. That means we're now using the virtual environment. And to check that we are actually using the virtual environment, we're going to run get command.pip and that points to the directory where the pip command lies. And that is for us pyenv test venv scripts. So 
the, vir the virtual environment is actually working. And as a last step, I would like to use this virtual environment in Visual Studio Code such that we can use the new release candidate of Python together with our modules we just installed for this project. So we're going to start code with code dot in our Python test directory, which will open a new, vi a new Visual Studio Code window. And in here we can see we have the hello pi I just run before, but Visual Studio Code doesn't know which interpreter we should use. To fix that, we're going to open the command palette with Control Shift P and enter settings JSON, and we're going to open the workspace settings JSON. This opens a empty JSON file, and we will add one thing to it, which is Python terminal activate environment and we set that to true. We save our current modifications on the settings JSON, close the settings JSON, then close Visual Studio Code. And we're going to open Visual Studio Code once again. And now our virtual environment is actually activated and we are using the Python version 3.10.0b3. And to run our script with this environment, we have to add a launch JSON. For that, we go on the tab over here, which is run and debug. We're going to create a launch JSON file, click on module, and the name of our module is hello. It's the file name just without the .py. We close that and we go to run, run without debugging, and a new terminal pops up down here. And in here, we can see that it actually activates our virtual environment and then runs our hello pi script and actually prints out the correct version we have set through pyenv in this directory in our virtual environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if it was helpful for you. Don't forget that you can find all the commands I've been using in this video on my website together with a complete documentation on how to set up pyenv on different systems together with virtual environments and Visual Studio Code. You can find the link to my website down below in the description. Don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to catch up with me, consider joining our lovely Discord community. Last but not least, big shout out to my Patreon subscribers for their support. And I hope that I see you in my next video. Have a fantastic day and bye bye!